Ladies and gentlemen, we're with Jonathan Haggerty, the double champion, up against Felipe Lobo at One Fight Night 19. Very good to see you. Uh, double champ status. I feel like every week we're talking about a different opponent for you, a different mm. person calling you out. This time the man standing in front of you is Felipe Lobo. You're having fun with this one, I feel like. You guys had a little bit of back and forth at the Andrage fight. That was quite an interesting yeah. clip. Um, are you enjoying this build-up? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process, mainly. Um, it's a little bit of animosity. It's always better when there's animosity. So um, it just gives you a reason to go in there and put on a proper demolition job. So um, we're excited for the weekend. And um, yeah, it's fun. You are the favourite going into this fight. Does that affect you in any way? Because it's very dangerous, right? Is there any danger of uh, looking past him, underestimating him? We're definitely not looking past him. Uh, in, this, in this game, there's four ounce gloves. And it only t takes one shot, you know, turn your lights out. So um, as long as we're 100% on the night and we're, we're switched on, which we always are, um, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, we have got to look out for a few things, but um, we'll be uh, putting on a performance. For your man on the street, give us an idea. What should people be looking for at the stadium, on TV? What do we need to watch out for? Where's the fight won and lost? What's he bringing to the table? I mean, you can look out for a, a knockout because that's what I'm coming for. We're coming for a knockout. Um, it's going to be explosive, you know, if he's talking the way he is and he brings that same heat to the ring. Then it's going to be a great fight, you know. And um, let's see who takes the backward step. And, um, yeah, over to you. Well, what's <laughs> impressed you in terms of his body of work? Is there anything that he's done or anyone that he's beaten that, that you've, you've said, fair enough, that's good? I mean, the main thing was when he got dropped by um, Samapetch and he showed heart and determination to uh, pick himself back up. That's hard, hard to do that, and that shows a real champion. So um, there's props there, but um, once he gets hit by me, there's, there's no getting up. Uh, spoke earlier to Eunice Rabba, who's of course rematching Samapet, and uh, you know he's like, I want Haggerty, so we can add another one to the list. He's six foot two, mm -hmm. massive bantam weight. What do you make of him? He, you know, if he gets the win, there'll be another one calling your name. Uh, is he another one for further down the line? Yeah, not fast at all, you know. I'm used to this. When you're the best, when you're at the top of the food chain, everyone wants a bit here. But, um, yeah, he can get an overhand right or a straight body shot. You know, he's got a long body, he's got skinny legs, so <laughs> perfect. And uh, <laughs> the one everybody's very excited about is Nico Carrillo. I think he shared the clip that we did where, where you said, you know, Nico Carrillo knockout. He, that one, the build-up, is going to be arguably fight of the year for 2024. Is that, is that next? i um, not sure if it's next. It'd be a great fight. Looking forward to it, looking forward to put a full stop on him. So um, whatever one championship give me, really, you know, there's a lot of names out there. And I'll just sign the contract wherever they put in front of me. So um, I'll tick them off one by one. Sometimes success uh, does things to people's hunger. You seem dialed in, you seem hungrier than ever. Can you talk to me about the mentality that you need to, when you've already got money in the bank, glory, two belts, how do you stay so dialed in, get up early, work hard? First of all, I ain't got no money. <laughs> I've spent it all. <laughs> spent all the bonuses. Nah, um, yeah, I'm just uh, motivated. I've got both belts, and I know you need to stay dedicated in this game. People do fall off, and um, you've got to have a bulletproof mindset. You're going to want to have to want it, and um, I want to stay at the top, so I know what I have to do to be at the top, so we put the hard work in constantly. Is it nice for you having Freddie, 19 years old, keeping the bar high for the family, does that keep you sharp and keep you driven in a, in a way? Yeah, 100%, you know, there's a bit of pressure there now. He's won his fight last week, so uh, I've got to go out there and do the job as well. But um, I'm so happy for him, you know, he's been watching me his whole career um, on the big stage, and now it's his time to shine, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to watch it. And uh, mark my words, he will be the one championship world champion. You've got your hands full at the moment, but how much is that MMA belt uh, in your sight line right now? How much MMA do you get to do? Surely not much. Uh, we've been working on a few things behind closed doors. Yeah, so we'll be ready when the contract's sent to us. But um, yeah, we're not looking past this weekend. We've got a tough job on our hands. And um, once we get that done, Andrade, I want your MMA belt. Do you have a rivalry with Tiger Muay Thai now? Nah, there's no rivalries. You know, they've just got people that want to fight. They, they've got the good fighters, so it's a compliment, really. So, um, yeah. Look forward to it. Respect. Thank nice you. one. Cheers, man. Stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with a word you fling.